Chair sit back, take from that. is mounted my goal is to get to a technical mount getting my partner on his side and then doing my chair sit so just like we've done in the past I roll the arm across I reach underneath turn to my technical mount fold my partner to his side from here I could simply grab my hand or I could just make a think of making a seatbelt grip now from here I slide my knee up as high as I can I'd likely I would prefer to pass the top of his head from here I bring my back leg and I put it parallel to his spine. I'll show you another angle in a second. So I sit on my butt. From here, what I need to make sure that I do is I don't fall back. So I just, I don't fall back like this. I don't fall back because I'll lose the position. Instead, I fall with my shoulder towards my partner's hip. Look, I bring my shoulder towards his hip. It won't physically get there, but I want to think of doing that so I can rock my partner up. See, now my partner is sitting up. But look, I can't put the hook in, it's too far. So all I do is I simply arch my back and I set my hook. So let's change that angle. So from the mount, get the arm across, chest down, grab the wrist, technical mount, fold my partner to the side. Make my seat belt, slide my knee up. This back leg needs to go parallel to the spine. It needs to stick. My foot should be close to his back. I sit on my butt. And from here, I said, bring my head and my shoulder towards my partner's hip, which lifts him off the floor, just like that. So his back is off the floor. Now, when I try to put the hook, sometimes I can't because I have short legs. So I arch my back, then I can easily put my hook in. For more advanced students, right away, depending on how your partner is defending, you can actually go over top immediately and start to isolate his arm. So that's a little tidbit for the advanced students. So with the dummy, same idea. Mount, roll the arm to the side. Get dummy to roll to the side. Set your grips, your seatbelt, slide your knee up, and then do your chair sit. So sit on your butt, right? Don't fall back because you lose the position. When you sit, fall towards the hip. Try to put the hook in. If you can't, arch the back, then put the hook in. I'll give you one more angle. So, front mount, drag your arm across, Roll partner to their side. Set up your seatbelt grip. If you need grips, you can also grab the gi as well. Whatever helps you. Slide the knee to the top of the head. Sit on your butt. Bring your head towards your partner's hip, which will lift the dummy off the floor, your partner off the floor. Look, the fall comes off the floor. Now from here, look, I can't, it's hard to get the hook in. So what I have to make sure that I do from here is arch my back. As I arch my back, now I can easily put the hook in. For more advanced students, sometimes I don't need to put the hook in there, I can go over top. Right? This gives me good access to arm locks and other strangle holds. So, you have two ways you can finish. You can put the hook in around the hip by going underneath like this, or more advanced students, you can go over top and hook over top. That's how we do the chair sit to the back.